And today we're gonna to be checking out a truly amazing steam cleaner. That's right, this is an all-purpose steam cleaner that you can clean your car with, you can clean carpets, you can clean floors, you can clean pretty much anything you want with this if it can be cleaned with steam. It's on wheels, it has extension hoses so you don't have to bend over and break your back, and it comes with a big old box of accessories. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a closer look at this, we're gonna see what all comes with it, and then we're gonna put it through the test. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so here's the little steam cleaner itself. You can see it has this built-in nice long hose. This hose is, uh, let's see, a good six feet long. You have your wand right here for controlling. You're gonna get these two extension rods right here that just clip on to extend your wand. If you are, say, cleaning floors and you don't wanna bend over, you can actually put two of these together. And it's also got a very, very long cord. We'll measure this out once we go outside and start cleaning the car with it. And I'll tell you the exact length of this. And then what's also cool about this, it does have a handle on top for carrying around. It is small and lightweight, but it also has rollers on the bottom. So if you're cleaning the floor, you can actually just walk around and drag it along with you. And it's going to stay right by you. Very, very cool. This is where you would pop your top to fill your water. You have your off on button right here and you have a dry wet selector right here. I will go over in more detail how to use this. And now we're gonna open up the accessory box. Let's see what all comes with this little steam cleaner. And right on top is your manual. Then you're gonna get some uh, rubberized gloves. They have little hearts on them. How cool is that? And it does look like it's a single glove. You have a mesh bag for holding all your accessories. You have the wide cleaner that has like a squeegee on it, so it'll steam and squeegee. You have the triangle brush head for scrubbing and steaming. You have a little steaming wand for just steam blasting stuff. And here are the brushes for that little wand. This is for doing some serious deep cleaning. You can take these little brushes right here and you can stick them on this. And this is like little brass bronze brushes, bristles, and you have two of those. And then you have six of them with plastic brushes. You're gonna have some uh, cleaning pads in here. Of course, this is going to be for cleaning with steam. And you have this one right here, which is kind of like a round one. We have one, two, three steam cleaning pads for floors, a little terry cloth towel. And then this is the head for cleaning floors right here. And this is what you would attach your pads to. And this is for scrubbing those hardwood floors, tile floors, whatever you're trying to clean. Oh, and these are little clips for holding your pads on. That's pretty convenient. Now that we've seen everything that comes with it, it's time to put this to the test. All right, so we have the little machine plugged in. I haven't put water in it yet, but this is your power for off and on. And then you have your mode button right here, which is dry and wet. And dry means just steam. And basically it's not gonna leave a, water res a lot of water residue behind. Then you have wet mode where it's gonna be steam with a little more water for those tougher to clean places and for places that can get a little more wet. And then right here is your monitor. It'll tell you the temperature. Once you put water in and you turn it on, it'll go up to 200 degrees. Once it gets to 200 degrees, it'll switch to hold. And then when you hit the button to start cleaning, it'll go back and show the temperature. And then when you release the trigger, it will go back to hold. So let's go ahead and uh, put some water in and we're gonna try to clean some of this dirty grout. I like the way this bevel design is. So if you pour any water off to the side, it'll make its way in there. It is best to use distilled water and fresh water. If you use distilled water, it won't scale up the insides and you'll get a longer life out of your machine. And now we're going to power on. And the power cord is about 15 feet long. I'm gonna put this on the wet setting too. And we're gonna let it build up, see how long it takes to get up to 200 degrees. And while it's doing that, we're gonna 
set this up. And we're going to use one of these little brushes here. Push it on. Now we can scrub those uh, tiles and that grout. Okay, it's reached temperature. Let's squeeze the trigger. And you can see the temperature right here. And that thing is steaming. So let's go ahead. I saved some extra dirty tiles for us right here. See if I can get the camera a little closer for you so you can see how bad it is. We'll do a before and after. You can see how dark and discolored the tile is. Let's bring it back to light. All right, here we go. We'll start here and work our way up. Okay, so that was pretty quick and that was pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and dry it. And now you can see, I hope you can see the difference. All right, so this is what the floor looked like after it dried. It was hard to tell in the video how much it had cleaned because the grout was still wet. But when it's dry, you can see that it does look much better. All right, so now we're going to try this glass stove top. And you know how you get all this built up stuff right here that, you know, the food boils over and gets on the stove, how it builds up on the glass. We're going to use this little plastic bristle brush right here and try to remove some of that. And I can tell you one of the benefits of steam cleaning, of course, is the fact that it's chemical free. All right, let's see if we made any difference. I didn't clean the whole thing, but let's see what it did. And you can see on the cloth what it did. Let's go ahead and uh, take it outside and let's go try something with the car. All right, so now we've brought the cleaning fun outside. We're gonna try to clean these car rims a little bit. And then we're gonna go inside and try to clean some of the carpet. So let's see what we can do here. Wipe away the dirt. You can see all the junk. And there you go. Cleaning it quite well. And you can see down here, especially in this area, if I just wipe, it doesn't even get all the stuff off, so the steam definitely helps get that off. But let's go to the inside of the car. All right, you can see inside the car right here, especially this area where our toddler happened to spill a little bit of uh, soda. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrub this part. We're gonna scrub part of this plate and see what a difference it makes. You can see how much of the soda it got out and how much better this plate looks. And there you go. If you're looking to clean with the power of steam, this is a very nice little unit. I like the fact that it follows you around as you're walking. You can just pull the hose and it's right there with you. It has a large reservoir. Of all the cleaning I did, it's still pretty full. You get all the accessories you need. You get all the different brushes and it comes with everything you need. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.